Um, what do you make of Josh's style and stuff? I just think he'll be Josh is good. Josh is a good uh, talent. You know, I can't take nothing away from him. You know, I, like I said, I picked him to uh, become undisputed. You know, before he even fought, and I just always said, you know, he was a very talented fighter and he was good. You know, uh, I'm a different animal. What about Boots and it? Boots good too. Boots, Boots, Boots doing great. You know, like I said, you know, I've been watching Boots since he was young. You know, and the boy got talent. They compare him to you a lot. Whenever someone fights you, they call him if he can help with your switch hitter. A lot of knockouts. Oh uh, yeah. You Only fighting yourself a little. Nah. Uh, I think I'm. I think I'm a little smarter than Boots. You know, I'm, I'm a little smarter than Boots. By the way, what do you think of Canelo plan? It's a major fight coming up. Just in a month. It's gonna be a good fight. You know, I'm interested to see how <laughs> Caleb Plant, you know, uh, attack Canelo. You know, if he go in there trying to do the same thing everybody else did, the same results. You know, you gotta find a way. You know, to get Canelo out of his comfort zone. You know, but you mentioned Ortiz, uh, Virgil Ortiz. Leading up to this fight, Canelo said that Mexicans don't fuck around. Well, that's good to know because where I'm from, we don't fuck around neither. So, Saturday night, make sure you tune in. You'll be seeing the first undisputed super middleweight of all time. This is history, and you're looking at him. His name is Caleb Plant. Thank you. Thank you, Caleb. Also want to remind you, the fighters and trainers will be available for one-on-one -on -one interviews following our Q&A from Brian Campbell coming up. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing the unified world champion, looking to become the first Mexican boxer